All right, it is Sunday at the time, across the street from Jeremy's Shell, and we are walking into his fuel department. No, we are driving in with this car now that they put a new motor in this Perry Ford. What did we get? Well, we got what? Eight miles to the gallon. Let's see if from where you are, dude, you're going to turn off the pump because there's nobody here. There's not that mean lady like the people at the Perry Ford telling me I'm lying. Yeah, it turns out that the rodent, it was true, but it's still there. Yeah, there's still a hole and I'm still getting gas at Fuel Depot. I'm going to go over. Use your machine, Jeremy. Now, if you come over like you're going to try to do from across the street or get any of your folks bothering me, I'm going to park it like the other one. This time, they're going to track it, right? It's not going to be like, nothing happened. Oh, yeah, it's happening. Dude, I'm getting gas this time. I'll put whatever I want. What did the lady say? You're making it seem like it's our fault. Well, yeah, if you say to someone, it has to be 70 cents or more. Like that. Holy shit. You know what I mean? Holy shit. Now, what I'm going to do here, Jeremy, is like stick the gas in, too. Now, if you say no, if you turn it down, that's going to be called harassment. Jeremy. Yeah, you guys are harassing me. Your doors are closed. I could take your LA Times right now. There is a 911. Oh, you left the bathroom open. Thank you, Jeremy. From the shell, does the hot water work? I'm gonna shut down the bill machine. Please do any of this. That is harassment. You're keeping me from shitting. You're keeping me from getting gas. You're saying it's not true. So that's just lying. I don't like the lying part. It is has something to do. Oh, someone just came looking for you, dudes. Yeah, you can't help them, huh? You want me to tell you what's wrong? Yeah, you'll find out when you get here tomorrow, right? You don't work on Sundays. Yeah. Ten dollars in. That's all I'm going to give you. I'll go spend my money at the 76 on Della Vina. Yeah, if you got any problems, if you want to tell me I'm not... (laughs) acceptable here because I'm pointing out your problems yeah t- uh, warning chemicals known to the state to cause cancer birth defects or other reproductive harm are found in gasoline shell crude oil Veneco and many other pro- petroleum products I wonder and their vapors huh are a result from their use I'm doing this at the fuel dupo that used to be the world, but nobody believes me. I see your truck there taking up two spaces. It says, always on point. The Point Market. You hear this television? Have you ever wondered where Fuel Depot gasoline comes from? The big refiners make more gas than they can sell under their own brand. They sell it. Plus fuel from all the major brands, so you can be sure that you're getting quality fuel for your car. Yeah. Also, some stations go years before changing their filters. Some, they change their filter all the time. You understanding this? He wants the best. Those pueblos, what did they say? Fall short against Corona Del Mar in CIF semifinals. Didn't stand all night talking about the two man. Welcome to f- Freedom, two mash. Really, we need to hear this at three in the morning. Look at that. Do you hear the speakers are crackling? That means... California. Brand new modern apartment homes with upgrades... It's crackling. That means you have them cranked so they're distorted. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's over on the other side? Nine, ten at your shell. Oh, I know. It's not the bathroom or the car wash. You must not be getting anything. Or the gas. Just the coffee, right? Well, I'm getting the coffee. And I'm slowly telling your ambassadors that they are supposedly, join our team. Yeah, that, those things yell. Do you know you're next to the Ramada Inn? I know you laughed. You can't laugh at people trying to sleep at the Ramada Inn. You can't laugh that this car is now getting nine. I'm Barry Ford. You put in a new motor. How much did it cost? Really doesn't matter. A new motor that's getting nine 
miles to the gallon. Something is wrong. That you readjusted the throw and the clutch when it wasn't there necessary, that's kind of wrong. Yeah, that <laughs> the tank right now, analog, it says that it's half full, but there's the thing saying that it's about to run out of gas, right? That means none of the gauges are working. You're understanding that. The digital is saying, are you saying that the digital is wrong about it being like, now it's making eight miles to the gallon where yesterday it was 10? Yeah. It doesn't even say the right direction. It says we're going northwest. We're going north. I'm going directly toward that mountain. You're not there. Perry Ford people who are not there anymore since 2018 when you sold this to me on Thanksgiving. And you've had it now since last Thanksgiving. You told me all the things wrong with it. I've told you, no, you're wrong. This is how it happened. Now you're saying, well, this is how it happened. It's six months later. You say it's all fantastic. You don't even do the detailing that you said you would do. Now the whole anything cool about it is not working. Do you hear that? Even the fake turbo thing. I don't know where it went. The thing's not driving the way it used to. How many of you at Barry Ford knew how to even drive the shift? Knew that there's a good copper. There's a sheriff. Give me some numbers. Yeah, that you didn't even call the DMV to be like, you know what? I don't think he should have to pay six months of registration when it was in our facility and never got off of the road. And when he came to get just some things out of the car, when they've had the car for so long and they're lying out of their teeth, they were very upset. Whoever was there said they didn't want to know the story when I was going, no, dude, it's an electrical problem. It's an electrical magnetical problem. They're, you're not supposed to have the phone inside the dashboard. Right now it's looking for it. It says no phone found. It's searching. And it has a 911 assist that it did not use. When the time came, that 911 assist never happened. I had to walk home. They found me three days later. They found the car. Three days later, they all stayed, left me walking home in the middle of the night, hypothermia, being chased by these tweakers. And everyone just shook their head and said, look, we don't want to hear the story. Nobody cares about that shit. That's what they would tell me. Well, now I'm caring. If I'm going to be driving around and it's getting worse and worse gas mileage and I can't go do the thing, I can't go to slabs. You ruined it for me, Jeremy. I don't want your crappy gas that, like, the one is, it's, why is it 10 cents cheaper across the street? It's the same gas. Why do they change their filters, but you don't? Why are those TV screens shouting, join our team, the point market team, and you guys are all wearing shell vests. And you told me when they're across the street in public property, the shell ambassadors can do whatever they want. You're not part of them. And that the bathrooms at all of whatever gas stations you have control of, you're telling nobody you do? It's not like you put a picture of me. How are all the new employees knowing that they need to kick me out of your stations? So you're lying. And you spent too much of my time, Jeremy, lying and behind my back, telling these new employees to lie also. And you will go down for that because I am taking you personally down for the death of Lee McMillan, right across the street from you, down in the train tracks. I don't care if you send most of the people from your shop, the point market, out of there and say, get back down under that bridge. But she's right there. There is a homeless encampment. They will talk about it. They will notice that she took a direct, a direct line from your place like me. And that you cannot show my camera angles, right? Because they disappear, what, 20 minutes later? I told you, give me those videos you said you couldn't. I said, tell your employees that so they, they know. But instead, you have them give an 800 number that takes forever before you finally get to corporate, especially on Saturdays and Sundays, the most busiest days 
of the traveling. Yes. You should care like nobody cares. You should care, dude. That's a huge company. Ford is huge. Shell is huge. McDonald's is huge. They're all chains. If what I've showed you in Santa Barbara where we're the nicest, we override constitutional rules to hopefully help people. The Johnny 50 and that cop who worked for City College, no more, doing a class called Breaking Bread and nobody's understanding the Breaking Bad reference. Bad cop, bad teacher. I've had that all growing up. I don't need it now during the COVIDs. You must stop. My family must now know they must go against now the shell. They must learn who Jeremy is. It doesn't matter who they think the owner is. It doesn't matter what the name of the place is. It's that I saw that movie, 1981. It's in a movie. It's not called 1981. It was made then. That's when I saw it. Maybe it was made in the late 70s. It's called American Interdite. Every other country has seen it. We are not allowed to see it. I had to suspend my belief in everybody, in God, after seeing that video, to even come home to this Santa Barbara, California, home of the newlyweds and nearly dead, and get my cocktails from hell. Yeah, that was the name of a band. Yeah, it was the name of a band, Cocktails from Hell, but also, nobody cared that Randy Gus went to La Colina Junior High School with Kathy Ireland and that my mom, who's still right to this point with my sister bothering me, these Bodnars, like, my mom taught this, this Randy how to, how to read music, how to play the piano. He, he taught her about whatever he had. He might have had diabetes. I don't remember, but she was afraid of his, uh, the thing around his hand. He had a bracelet saying, please help me. If I just fall over and start to, you know, spaz out on you, please put, a, put your fingers down my throat, right? If I swallow anything evil, stick your fingers down my throat. And if I shiver, give me a blanket, hold me close, let me wear your coat. You guys never did that. You guys have seen me. You knew I was like lift in three in the morning, like one of the only people driving in Santa Barbara at that time of morning. You guys didn't remember that. You suddenly made it all about like, I'm some homeless guy now. And I realized like black like me, you treat me differently now that you think I've gone to a different tax bracket. And I have, but we shouldn't be different just because of that. You shouldn't forget that my daughter, where's my daughter? How come the people upstairs who moved in and, 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 and did the, the, the wrong, they're off code, they're off the fire code. The place can burn down now. The way they did it, they pulled out the fire retardant. How come I showed all this? How come like my brother-in-law, he's a treasurer on the HOA and he's not gonna do anything about these people making too much money? And having me throw it in jail because I pointed it out. It's just low budget housing, people. It's that easy. Jesus loves you. They're holding signs on the corner. Got Jesus with the question mark. That's cool. We do, don't we? We got the Lord. We got God. We got Buddha. We even talked to, what was the person they said it was? It was, it didn't matter. Oh, that I pointed out that we could see on the cover of this independent, the, um, the Dalai Lama's thing, right? He, he said, please don't say junk. But I just said, oh, like the Larry David sketch. I, I just said, oh, I think I see something there, right? Kramer didn't know he was going to be kicked off the show and end up having to try to do stand up again in some, I don't know, some heckler. It's going to get away with, you know, filming the person's new material that he's thinking maybe this isn't going to work. Maybe I should sing. Let's tie you up, all you hecklers, no matter what color, that do that to somebody who's trying to do something like a vlog or something. I mean, it's not 
your job. Just drink the two drink minimum and stop talking because that girl ain't going home with you anymore. There's no breakfast action happening. So don't yell at the guy and then sound like you're falsely, you know, like you care. Here we are, like the Goleta Old Town Sheriff Office. It's closed all the time, unless they're doing DUI action. That's on the corner of Pine. P-I-N-E. That means pin in, in, in French, right by the auto zone. Pin means, yeah, I'm gonna F you up the butt. Like I'm gonna do this P-I, this Thomas Grant for like killing off Christian Pfaff and who knows who else, well, Kurt Cobain, yeah, was he, there a little jealousy? I don't know. He was just doing what, what Courtney Love wanted, right? And it says, no trespassing. These premises are for customers only. Please be respectful of the surrounding businesses. Now, my family say they're not being disrespectful. I said, yeah, I know. You're just holding me in great disregard. And that part's true. And then I said, you must tell me, both of you, you must answer the lie and say, why did you lie about this certain thing? If you don't do it, it's going to be like here. I'm just going to be spending everyone's money and saying, hey, if I have to spend $20 a day just to go back and forth, just to stay in my house, not be able to do what I wanted to do, and even if the government finally sent me my stimulus right now, <laughs> it wouldn't matter. I can't do the trip when the car is like in that bad of a shape. But they've already gotten their 26 grand, you know, two years ago in cash. And now they've already gotten their 10 grand for this new motor that's getting eight miles to the gallon. It used to get like 40. And they're going to have some excuse. They're going to blame it on me. They're going to want to keep the car again. I'm going to be like, dude, what about the, um, what about this rodent you were talking about? Yeah. Why didn't you fill in the spaces? All right. Nobody cares. Let's just do this. Oh, it's raining. Covered in cat hair. Hey, bro, let's go. Cannabis infused popcorn, that's excellent. And then remember yesterday I couldn't throw you a five, so I'm doing it today. Thank you. Dude, thank you. Thank you guys, man. Thank you, See you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna thank you for that. All of you who did not want to help me with that. 
There you go. I feel a calming just by uh, just by knowing it's there. Yeah, I had trouble <laughs> in Los Angeles. They didn't like that something. Oh, they don't like when your card is out of when you know they <laughs> the DMV wants you to get something renewed the thing that they don't even need to take the money from you you haven't needed that thing when when they come to the window to illegally try to arrest you right you saw that the first thing they go i tell them my name i tell them where i live i tell them everything i can tell them my social security i tell them everything they would want to know at the dmv but they right away go do but do you have you understand see how caring do you have some sort of form of ID, blah, blah, blah. This stuff that suddenly, wait a minute, where are we, Europe? I'll go to France if I want that, where they're gonna be like, yeah, I can take you to jail because you don't have any idea. They, they wouldn't do that though, because they would have an idea that you don't need the ID. They could tell by my accent that I probably am not really French. They're not gonna care that I wasn't there without my papers i wasn't supposed to be there my visa student was done i i was married they saw that i had dual nationality but they also saw that we were oh citiciente triste we are tristo confondera it says vondera a jesus sell your soul to jesus citiciente if you feel guys tell me what that meant um, it must be Sundays because O'Reilly Auto Parts is closed. The little dog house grooming is closed. Fiesta Land is closed. Oh, my favorite, La Tapatia. It's closed, though. Um, there is a sushi place. It's all across from the Fuel Depot 381. Get a free. Oh, this is the one next to Alfie's restaurant, right? My favorite. It's for sale now. Oh, that restaurant was my favorite. It was Hawaiian. They had... They had spam. They had spam on some of the meals. Yeah, it was like eggs and spam and Hawaiian spam and eggs, things like that. There is a Spud Nuts across the street. I haven't gone there for a while, um, but it's a Spud Nuts. You know, they make their donuts out of potatoes. It has a certain taste. Um, just like this uh, 5665, this Upman. Yeah, it's probably the most expensive motel. I want you to know it's next to the Toyota, the used Toyota place. But also you can hear the train, you can hear huh, definitely the airport. It's right there. You'll get there close. But you can hear this road. This is the busiest road where Hollister turns into state, right? That's where they said that Lee McMillan died, right there. That's where everyone said. Nah. Like I'm going to tell you, this building here used to be a sizzler. And that freeway entrance that says West 217, it's gonna take you straight. You're gonna see, uh, you're gonna go past where we used to have a, uh, a drive-in movie theater. And we used to do like on Sundays, like right now we would go and it would be the best swap meet ever. And we used to have the best summer solstice parades. And it was all about a certain community. You know what community is. That community, I loved that community. It was the only ones I enjoyed driving at Lyft. And I met a, a lot of you at Coachella, right? And we met that, whoa, some of you managers of artists ugh, are, are, are evil with your clientele, which is are the people who are up on stage doing stuff that you can't do, even if they're just standing there and they made an operation on their face or somewhere on their body just to hang out on that stage with the rockers. You're not up there, managers. You cannot treat your women or your men, the them of the days, like this anymore. None of you. We're gonna attach just like me. Doesn't matter. Anyone who's a little bit different, we're just gonna say you're bipolar and nobody can touch bipolars anymore with words or touching us or coming up to us or expecting us to get into the car quietly since we don't have the right papers. 
You can't do that. It's not Nazi times. As you've seen, I've been sending you all home. Policemen, especially the ones without numbers. Please, all of you who don't have numbers on your badges, or or it looked felt to me, and I kept going, is this the velvet fog? Are you all going to retire like this? What are these two digits? What are these that look like plastic? What are these things? They don't answer that question. They just go, ah, it doesn't matter. I have another number to tell you. Wait a minute. Your numbers don't mean anything? There's another cop going the other way. Come, I owe you $600, it looks like. I'm going to say contact Perry Ford. They will have to. They won't want to. They ain't going to do it. They're going to let me go. Like me smoking where I'm going. I'm going to that spot because they sent me for no reason. They think they can get me out of their parking lot. That they're going to turn the public parking lot into private. Whoa, now you need to learn what Lyft is. You can't be like the people saying, you never drove for Lyft. Let me give you a... Yeah, I did. And I, I, I don't live in L.A. And so I had to find places in places like Compton like in front of the place where it is no longer a mom and pop wonderful taco stand it, it it's just in shambles that's in shambles nina you, you called me i said dude don't call me unless you're ready for this i'm being different i'm doing the opposite show you still don't know the opposite show you did what the neighbors did you said the neighbors were right they're going to get away with all this, these violations. You have not slept correctly since they moved in. We know this as a family. We do not allow you to express this at a dinner table at Stella Marie's. And from then on, we were just pouring water onto a fire that is made out of grease that you have not learned. It's not going to stop. Did you not see? You just stared at me and was going, what's going on? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Yeah, gremlins, you can't pour water on us. You can't keep us up. You've already done it. You've already triggered me. You will not listen to me now. You say I'm the terrorist because I'm acting like a punk. You don't even know what punk is. You don't even know why I'm acting like a punk now. You won't just let me do it. Just do the opposite show. Since you're not going to let me do it and you haven't let me do it. And I'm 57 years old and you know it's like time. And you know how many people growing up and some of them were your husbands telling me it's messed up. Your family, both sisters and your mom, they're messed up how they act with you. People who hardly knew me, hardly knew them, would see it in live. Go, whoa, you are not talking. My best friend would say, how come you talk so differently? when you got one of your family members on the phone. Now they're gonna blame it on me because now I'm totally talking different, right? And I'm not gonna stop smoking and I'll smoke right in your face now. I used to be polite, I'm not. Now I'm gonna start swearing, I'm using inappropriate gestures. That's what the guy did to me. That's what everyone does to me in all these places where that's not professional and they get paid for it and I get kicked out of places that I gave so much money over the years up to the point where that guy, security or not, he's not there anymore, he was wrong, he had to go back to LA. You must all know, you cannot be security guards here, you cannot be policemen here. You will be given like that. Man, it'll be like you're retiring or you're a rookie. But there is no number. And they can say whatever they want. The guy said 74, but then he said another number. Then he started giving up other people. He says, well, I can't call district attorney so-and-so, but you seem to know Hove and his number. And he started giving me out names, spellings, and numbers. Now... They could all be fake. They could all be wrong. But you know somewhere, I mean, it's so vast. The PD, that's just police department, county, it's vast nationwide. One of those numbers is going to connect with someone. Now, if this guy's saying, no, it's no possible way that you're even getting this online. And you're telling them, look, it's a live stream. And they don't want to look at your phone and realize... Oh, it says right there what time it is. I see that there's other people. Did you say it was your daughter in France? How did they know nine hours ahead what's going on here? 
nine hours ahead. Do you understand? You're telling me I can't do that. I can't film all of you citizens. I can't film your license. Whoop, it's already there. Would you like it me to make it worse? I can freeze frame it and make a special video all in black and white so that the algorithm, YouTube won't knock it off like it's done to my Perry Ford sucks. Any of the Perry Ford sucks. Do you notice that there's zero people looking at it? That's the algorithm. Helping out Ford. And you guys say you don't care. I'm at 30 minutes and we're going to go up to 30 minutes, 33. Start caring. Dude, stop writing. Nobody cares. That means you're saying that everybody, for you, whomever, they just don't care about anything. You must care. It's COVID times. Wake up. Stop making those comments. You kill with that. Don't say the person's on speed. They don't need to hear your crumb speed kills. No. A day with dope and no money is much better than a day with a lot of money. In this foggy June gloom where there's all this poison oak now on the side of this foothill so that the handicapped pets, right? Not pedophiles on the Camino del Remedio. Oh, hello. There's the Alpha. That's an Alpha company. You see, I'm making fun of them. No, I walk back there. I give them donations. Right back there is the sheriff. They got their shooting range. Look at that sign. It's got someone on a horse. Do you remember the fiesta? Are we going to have one this year? COVID, did we have one last year? Do you remember who invented the solstice parade? It was Mikey. Mikey was running Roma with his wife of the time, Christina. She's in Seattle now. She was an amazing photographer. They both wrote things. They, they both read like Schopenhauer and things and tried to get someone like Laura Haxton to read Schopenhauer when I'm just like no she needs to read a good Stephen King to know that she is hurting me and she doesn't know it and I didn't know I was hurting her and it was a bad situation but we were put together by by the family do you see what happens in Breaking Bad no you don't it ends badly and he said he did it for his family. It ends really badly each time he does something for his family or he tries to hide something for his family or he tries to explain the truth to his family. They F him over. They just wait till he gets some operation. Get him. Can he take care of himself now with this big C? This big COVID he has, Mr. Weisenberg, right? That's how we end up all alone lying on the ground with instead of it being the passenger by Iggy Pop it's going to be a remake by Mano Negra right it's got the chow dude me gusta tu singing yeah passenger je serai l'homme yeah I'll be the passenger you know Anthony Bourdain really liked Iggy Pop he was a big fan first time that guy was on his show he was showing him all his records that he had. Anthony Bourdain being a fan with Iggy Pop, and in the end, they're both in a vegan restaurant, right? Talking about the health food and getting old. And Iggy said, you know, whatever you said there, Bourdain, it was very snarky. You're like, I can't believe I'm with the godfather of punk in Florida. He's looking all tan. I'm sitting here looking kind of tan myself. We're looking healthy. We're thinking about the vegan food. My sister said that Anthony Bourdain hated vegans. That's what she said after his death. And she said because she read this book of his. I was like, I don't think you read his book correctly because you wouldn't have treated the waiters the way you and mama did. Like salting stuff and then having them call, bring it back for being not salty enough. You didn't even taste it yet. I keep saying, please don't take it out of their tip, but don't, you know, in the book, you said you read it. They are going to their death when you send them to the cook. They may not live through the night. And you said you read it. And you said you understood, but you speed read. And you gloss over. We've been taught to do that. And you can't gloss over what I am. 
And everyone has said, well, we're not going to give you the time. We don't want to hear it. The cops are like, yes, we said we were going to give you your side of the story, but it's not relevant. That was the word used when I was just talking. It wasn't relevant. Now, now it's totally relevant. What I was saying back then is totally relevant. If you don't remember it or you weren't listening the right way, I can play you back this tape. Now, nobody wants to hear the tapes back from our Stella Marie sessions. They say that they are triggering. Well, that's problematic. Because it triggers me that you guys said that you went to see a doctor like I've been doing. I believe you haven't. One of you, I know for sure you haven't. I'm going to let that go. It's an old timer. She doesn't want to go to the doctor. The doctor's not going to tell her things she wants to hear. But my sister, she knows all this stuff. So what she's going by, I know, is just old tapes. But not these new ones. And she doesn't want to hear it. But she says all these doctors, she has many more that are behind her. I believe they're all the doctors that she's worked with up till now. But right now with me, I believe, I'm just pointing out like I did, finding out that Itzik was the treasurer. I didn't know that he's not going to do anything about the problems that an HOA treasurer should do. I didn't know that when I got him voted back in, when he when he saw like, hey, how do, where did all these votes come from? And he didn't know that they were coming from me and me getting these people to vote for him. And I thought, ah, if he's in office, he's going to make sure that they don't do these upstairs neighbor anything out of violation. Now, I didn't know that he has one of those different kinds of, um, he has a Victorian house style, let's just say, of these income housing so he owns the top of the floor so it didn't matter if you take all the floors out and it's super noisy it's aggressive to you as long as you don't mind hearing yourself walk and creak and all that it's fine for you but these are not i have the straight lace it's just a straight hallway and the people upstairs have the exact same floor floor plan so if you're sitting on the toilet you hear them if they flush the toilet it goes through the wall it goes through where the bedroom is. You can hear it right there where there's um, a closet space. That's where I'm sleeping, right? Now, it wasn't like that before they moved in. They tore up lots of padding. They tore up, there's a charcoal fish thing for fish orders. Uh, they tore up the fire um, retardant. All of that's helpful for sounds too. And they lowered the floor, so it definitely creaks, because they are now, instead of there being a little bit of a leeway, they, there could have been these little pieces of stuff that were um, little 35 cent things they were told to me, but uh, they didn't want to do it, right? It's a cheap, 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 low budget housing. They even did something, what did they do? It's like uh, seismic. Yeah, they had to do something where they wanted us all to leave. They took people's walls out. And people were like looking at me through a wall, like plastic, going, oh my God, why have they done this? And we never knew. We never knew why they had done that. But they did. They done do that. I never let them into my house to ruin it like they did for everyone else. Finally, at the end, they came around and they said, you know what? We were able to do it from the outside. And I learned they are able to do everything from the outside. And as long as you don't let them in, like the bullies, they can fix it. But the police came in with this thing called a, uh, a welfare check. It was brand new, but they cheated. They lied. Had they brought me in saying, oh, yeah, we took a look at his place. He looked like he needed some welfare help. He asked for this doctor. The person inside, the nurse, knew who the doctor was, was like, well, Asudi's my doctor too. And said, right, he's on Carpe, um, he's on Carrillo Street, right? He's down the street from Roy. Do you know Roy? And I'm like, yeah, he's my friend. That's a cool restaurant. It used to be a lot cheaper. What can he do? It's Santa Barbara, right? And then COVID, who knows? But there's paintings there. He allowed music of all sorts. Things that nobody's going to do now, right? The new people who came in from L.A. took over the Jabba Hut. And they were like, no way are you going to be playing any music because of the COVID. They blamed it on the COVID. And I'm like, what? 
I've already been tested. I already got, you know, half of a vaccination. I don't go anywhere. I'm still inside this car unless I can get the COVID through these vents, which interesting minds should know, right? Inquiring minds want to know why the Santa Barbara Independent, their, their stand here. It says Hemp 83, debut one. It says Anta Bar Pendant, independent.com. Like, can't you fix it? Why is it just sitting there? Do you pay rent to the Regal Cleaners? Because if you do, I've been squatting the place. And I know you guys are saying, you can't do it. That's not going to happen. I'm dual national. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means that I can do or say or whatever? And then just get the hell out of here. I can buy this stuff long distance for nothing. But if you don't understand that, and you keep saying, I can't do it, all you're going to learn is that I'm doing it. What are you going to do about it? Right? I'm doing it. I'm doing it good. Stop saying I can't do it. Or I'm parked in front of your place now. Now I'm lighting your shit on fire. Now that guy's telling me, you're telling me good luck with your good luck. And suddenly I'm like, good luck with that. Really? You mean like Warren being found out that he's actually a felon. Good luck with what? Me uploading the time he smoked fentanyl with me? That he said I was someone else, that I said he was, uh, what was it? It was his cousin. Ah, that's an easy mark, Black Life Matter. Right, but if I gave Steve Law, I've given you his actual name, you've heard him just say, F you, I don't care about that crap. And throw my cart and my artwork out from the private, his private, he's calling it, even though he doesn't own that. It's uh, Pepe, right? And Pepe said, I can. I can. Pepe said, yes, you can play all you want. And the other persons who own the Java Hut, they said, yeah, he can play any time he wants. You guys have to remember that. Your own people. Oh, 33 miles until empty. Dude, this is impossible. I just put in $20. This car is getting now eight miles to the gallon. It says so. It says key battery low, replace soon. Dude, you've had the car for six months with a new motor and the washer fluid level low do you hear that and now we're still pointing north but it says southwest i know none of that stuff matters just put it back the way it was that's all i'm asking put the floor back upstairs legal the way it was i can ask for that i'm asking nina and mama to just take this back to the Ford, tell them that they're lying, um, get it's a Kent knows whoever, get him to talk to that owner of the fuel depot. Don't tell me that it's not a world. Don't start telling me about the color combination. I'm looking at my shell. Fuelrewards.com and it's blue and it's orange. What was the fuel depot? blue and orange what was the world gas station blue and orange and that's all you said we're trying to figure out how to find this car you shouldn't have done it no i parked it over two pumps they shouldn't have done what they did did they want me to get out of their place they did but they did it in such a way right they just made the thing disappear and tell you it never happened that is too, 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 too easy. It's too easy, easy. You're so sleazy, sleazy, right? Yeah, it's too easy. You guys are too sleazy. All right, that's 44 minutes of just watch time since you took down the 13 hours that I did yesterday. Bye-bye.